seen it. I've seen my son shot down in the street like that. A mother watches her son's final moments. Tonight, Eyewitness News talks exclusively with a family heartbroken by the loss of a teen followed online by millions and beloved by the ones he left behind. Good evening, I'm Jill Holden. We start tonight with this deadly shooting of a 19-year-old man, his killer still out there. Matima Miller, known as Swavy, had millions of followers on TikTok. He's now part of a growing list of people shot and killed in Delaware's most populous city. This evening, the victim's family is speaking only to eyewitness news reporter Jasmine Payute. He was a star. He is a star. Like, we always knew he was a star. Like, he was bigger than life. With nearly 3 million followers on TikTok, social media users knew Swavy for his dance moves, skits, and sense of style. He was very outgoing, so courageous. He had no fear, like he would go anywhere and just bust out in rhythm. But to his loved ones, Matima Abasi Miller was so much more than a trend. They're talking only to CBS3. Matima was a beautiful person, like he had a, such a wonderful soul. Um, this his legacy will live on for, for forever. A gunman shot and killed the 19 year old on Albert Place just before 11 o'clock Monday morning in Wilmington, Delaware. His mother tells me she was forced to watch. His final moments. I'm mentally going through because I seen it. I seen my son shot down in the street like that. Bullets in him. Y'all don't know what I'm going through. Adding to their heartbreak, the family feels they have to be on the defensive after talk show host Wendy Williams commented about the TikTok star's death and number of followers. Look at my eyes and stuff, y'all. Like as a mother, Wendy Williams, how dare you? So disrespectful. I used to watch you as a child growing up. Even though you got a gossip show and all that, you didn't even know my son. But according to his big brother, his name, Matima Abasi, means strong heart in Swahili. And that's what they're choosing to focus on as they continue their search for justice. I never knew how big he was until he was put in this situation. And they, one thing I can say is they did give him his flowers while he was here. Wilmington police say there have been 62 shooting incidents, 15 of those fatal so far this year. An event planned for Sunday here at Kirkwood Park is meant to address the increasing gun violence. Reporting in Wilmington, Jasmine Payute, CBS3 Eyewitness News.